Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today for the observance of the National Day of Prayer, which will take place next Thursday, May 3rd. This tradition begun under President Eisenhower and continued through peacetime and wartime, through times of prosperity and times of uncertainty, demonstrates our commitment as a nation to maintaining a foundation of prayer. Through prayer, we acknowledge that God gives us peace in the midst of our circumstances, and we seek the wisdom to know and act upon God's purpose for our lives, and we feel the power of God to protect and provide for those of us who call on his name. For we know that the true source of power cannot be found here in the halls of Congress, or in the Oval Office in the West Wing, or in the chambers of the Supreme Court, but only on our knees before the one who is the true source of power. So may we pray not only next Thursday on the National Day of Prayer and join communities across this nation which are joining in prayer for our country, but may we do so also in honor and in recognition of our national motto, in God we trust. Indeed, may God bless this great nation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.